Hi there everyone, Anne here and welcome back. Today we're talking three top tips to look your best on Zoom. I'm going to be talking Zoom, but it could equally be Google Meets, um, Teams, whatever platform you use regularly to talk to colleagues, friends, family, uh, on online. Now we've all been doing it for over a year, so I, I suspect we've all got our own little hints and tips on how to present the best we can. But I want to bring you my three top tips this morning. I've just realized that it's probably not the best day for me to do this. I'm going to the hairdressers today, so looking a bit scruffy in the old hair department, but tomorrow should be better, hopefully. Um, first thing I want to talk about is technology and lighting. If you're using Zoom and you haven't yet found this button, fabulous click on the um the little um, zoom camera in the google in the apps uh, in on your zoom app go to video settings and in there you will see touch up my appearance that put it about halfway along would be my recommendation don't put it full on unless you want to look like a kind of a plasticized barbie doll but if you put it about halfway along it will just do a enough of a job in terms of muting the skin tone, removing sort of fine lines and wrinkles and making you sort of look the best you can, making you look healthy and, and um, still yourself, but the best self you can be. Um, second thing, lighting. Now, there are all sorts of very fancy lights out there that you can get. And many people, many people that, that do online um, vlogs and so on, use ring lights, which essentially is um, a, almost like a, a tube on the outside, which is the light itself, and then kind of a blank in the middle, um, designed to give you kind of a nice halo effect. I have to say, I don't use that. I have not yet invested in one of these lights. But what I do use is a very simple, old fashioned angle poise lamp. Have the lamp behind the, the lid of your screen with the, the light itself angled so that it's shining directly at your face. Now, this sounds horrific, but actually it has a really nice effect of just kind of putting a kind of a gentle um, filter over the skin, if you will, and giving it a nice sort of uniform appearance. You won't feel like you're being interrogated on line of duty. It's not that kind of like in your face sort of um, rabbit and headlights kind of thing, but it will just have a very nice effect of, again, making you look the best you can be. So that's technology and lighting. Next one, positioning and posture. I do a lot of work on Zoom and have spent a lot of time over the past few months looking up people's noses, at the top of people's heads. And so very simply, I think most of us have kind of got this, um, but best place to position your head so that you're two thirds of the way up the screen. So that you've, you know, you fill the screen two thirds of the, of the image. In terms of posture, make sure that you've got a good chair that supports your back and enables you to sit up straight. It sounds incredibly obvious, but being well positioned on the screen and sitting up straight and having good posture, shoulders back, chest open, um, will just make you present in a very confident manner. And I think we all look good when we feel confident. So um, two thirds of the way up the screen, sit up nice and straight, um, and you're good to go. Third and final thing, finishing touches. I want to give you kind of three makeup tips that will help enhance your appearance on Zoom and one tip for the hair. Uh, three makeup tips, first and foremost, get a powder, I use a pressed powder, to blot any shine on the T-zone. The light behind the screen is great for making your face look good. But what it also does is highlight any shine on the skin. So if you use a nice pressed powder and blot that area, it will remove any shine, number one. Number two, the light will tend to wash out your skin a little bit. So if you wear blusher anyway, um, I would put a little bit more blusher on for a day on Zoom or, or Teams or Google Meets or whatever the platform is that you use. A little bit more blusher will give you a nice, um, kind of nice appearance and will show up a little bit of color on the face. Number three, 
if you want to really kind of go all in in terms of trying to make your skin look the best it can i would recommend a little bit of highlighter on the cheeks now i actually did an earlier video and put put one on that cheek so i'm going to try and do it on the other cheek i use um a fabulous highlighter actually which i absolutely love it's by a company called cryolan k-r-y L-O-N, I believe. Um, it's a professional makeup artist brand, but it, you can buy it um, even if you're not a professional makeup artist. Uh, and the color I use is called Illusion. But any highlighter will do. Just a nice little dab of that on the top of the cheekbones. Just kind of pat it in and it will just kind of pick up the light and give your skin a nice kind of glow. Fourth thing for the, for in terms of makeup. Now, if you don't wear makeup, absolutely fine, um, and this would not be for you. And you know, I know people have different feelings about lip gloss. It's kind of a, it's a bit marmitey. People sort of love it or hate it. I love it, um, and I would recommend that if you're spending all day on Zoom, get yourselves a lip gloss that has a little bit of glitter in it. Now, we're not talking kiddies parties glitter here. Just a little bit of very, very, very subtle glitter now the one i use absolutely love it would highly recommend it it's called patrick ta patrick ta patrick ta i think i got this on cult beauty ages and ages ago but it's still it's still on sale the one i love is a natural gloss it's called she's expensive and it has a very 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 fine glitter in it very fine you're not going to look ridiculous um but what it does if you just put it in the middle of your lips, top and bottom, it just gives a really nice little shine to the lips, nice little plumping appearance, um, and adds a little bit of glam. And God knows we all need a little bit of glam just now. Well, I do anyway. So um, final tip for the hair. If you're on Google and you or, or, or Teams or Zoom, if you're online, and you're making notes at any point. Recognize that when you put your head down, everybody else on the Zoom call will see whatever you are presenting from the top of your head. Now, it's not quite so much of an issue now that we're all able to get back to the hairdressers, and if we've got a root problem, we can get that sorted out. Um, but if you haven't managed to get an appointment yet, or you're still, you're, you're still kind of waiting and, and deciding what to do with your hair after lockdown, the old trusty magic retouch is fabulous for the job. Give it a spray, cover up any grey. I would also spray, I said in one of my videos last week, I tend to spray the parting line as well. Um, I haven't done any of it today because I'm going to the hairdresser, so I don't want anything on my hair. But just give your hair a bit of a spray so that if you do put your head down to make notes, um, then what's, what the other side is seeing isn't, isn't a kind of a, a shock of roots. Um, if, if you don't want that to be what you're presenting. Okay, everyone, that's it from me. Have a fabulous day, whether you're spending it on Zoom as I am, apart from a trip to the hairdressers, or whatever you're doing, if you're getting out and about and enjoying this newfound freedom that we're able to enjoy. Have a good one, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.